Chapter 8, Varrows Case Study, Winterbourne Crossroads The Winterbourne Stoke Crossroads Round Barrow Cemetery comprises a linear arrangement of 19 late Neolithic, early Bronze Age circular earthwork monuments, commonly known as Round Barrows. Winterbourne Stoke 3 to 10 are aligned to the northeast of the Neolithic Long Barrow known as Winterbourne Stoke 1. They extend southwest and northeast for nearly 600 meters, this alignment continues after a gap of 100 meters. A roughly parallel secondary alignment immediately to the west comprises Winterbourne Stoke 2A to 12. A cluster of barrows sits slightly apart, 250 meters northwest of the main alignment. Most of the barrows were excavated by Sir Richard Colthall in the early 19th century. What is missing from the above explanation by English heritage, is the earthworks throughout the site which are both unmeasured and unexcavated. This is because the most fundamental understanding of the environment at the time of these barrows' construction is unknown or misunderstood. If they looked under the surface of the soil, they would see that not too far away from this large number of barrows are the remains of a large Paleo-Channel river. If you look at a map of this area, you will see the modern crossroads that now lies in the middle of the barrow complex, this intersection is no accident of history. As we have discussed previously, round barrows are markers for Neolithic pathways and therefore, when these prehistoric roads cross, you will get a collection of barrows from separate directions. Modern roads are mainly built on the remains of previous roads which in turn are constructed again on their initial ancient pathways. The closest earthworks to the Winterbourne crossroads run northwest to southeast for about 500 meters, it then seems to meet another earthwork running north-northwest to south-southeast for about the same distance making the entire earthwork about one kilometer long. We are therefore looking at a 20,000 cubic meter excavation taking about 20,000 hours using stone age tools, or 100 men taking about 20 days or one man taking 5 years, non-stop, so not a small farming feature archaeologists may have you believe. Sitting at the height of 110 meters above sea level it is a curious feature, it can't be defensive, as you can walk around the edge, it can't be for animals as it stops nothing, fences would be much effective and take less than five years to build. With the Mesolithic groundwater level, 85 meters to 95 meters, the Long Barrow, Willsford 34 is surrounded, like Stonehenge, on three sides making it a peninsula. But as the Mesolithic waters receded, the Long Barrow became isolated, so a dike, canal, was built to meet the new shoreline. This new dike would eventually service not just one but three Long Barrows, Stoke 1, Willsford 34, and Willsford 41. You have been watching a small part of the prehistoric Britain DVD documentary called The Stonehenge Enigma. The full three-hour DVD is available on Amazon as well as all three trilogy books. Oh,